welcome back to my channel and if you're new here my name is nicole and i make beauty fashion and lifestyle videos so if you do like those type of videos make sure to subscribe today i'm going to be showing you guys what's in my baby's delivery bag i'm going to have a separate um, delivery bag for myself and also for my boyfriend so i won't be showing what's going to be in my my delivery bag yet because i haven't even packed it and I still have to look what I need to get for myself and also for my boyfriend. I actually wanted to mention this app, What to Expect app. You put your due date and it pretty much tracks your pregnancy and it tells you how the baby's doing, how much it weighs, how many weeks you have to go and all these things. And there's also a, a part in the app where it says community. So my baby will be born in January. So I followed a group chat that is for January babies and a December group chat also, just in case my baby does come out early, like a week earlier too. It could be possibly in December. So I just follow that and I just like to see their um, comments and what they talk about also. I think it's a really good app. So if you are pregnant, I would say get the app. So what I did was I, since I am a first time mom, I did ask, what should I pack in my delivery bag for the baby? And they sent pictures on what the hospital says to bring for yourself and for the baby. And that's what I decided to pack in my bag. So I'm going off by that and what other first time moms, what they suggested for me to bring. So I have two items that are not in this bag just because it does not fit. And this is a pretty big bag, but it's just kind of bulky. So the first item I do have is his blanket, which is gonna go in his car seat when he leaves, since he is gonna be born in January. The next item I do have is his jacket. It has a hood, a little pom pom right here. It's really cute. I'm probably gonna put that in my hospital bag. What I will probably be doing is like a suitcase for me and my boyfriend to put all their items together. And I'll probably just put those two items in there also. So in the actual delivery bag, big zipper, I have this towel. That's what they recommend you bring, it's just a towel. So I have this one. Pacifiers, I know the hospital gives you pacifiers, but I wanted to bring my own. So some of the moms in the group chat were saying to bring like a picture outfit and so you can take your baby's picture in. So I decided to go with this one. Going with this one, it's like, a, I think it's kind of like a holiday outfit. So I really like it and I feel like you'll be comfortable in it. I was actually gonna take him home in this this might not be the best outfit for him to wear going home, especially since I do live about like 30 minutes away from the hospital. I just didn't want him to be uncomfortable. So we decided maybe this could just be his picture outfit and then we have a different outfit where he's he's more cozy and comfortable in it. So we decided to put him in this little, it looks kind of like a bear onesie. It's really cute. It has mittens inside and the zippers up and down and it's fuzzy, so I do like that. That's the back of it and it has a hood. So underneath that, we decided to put a white long sleeve onesie, a newborn size. Put this, and if it is super cold, which it probably will be, I also have a pair of sweats that I brought for him just in case so he can wear the onesie, these sweats, and then put the fuzzy onesie on, on top of it. And then his puff jacket so he can be really secured. Now, if he doesn't fit in that, we decided to bring him a second outfit just in case. The moms did say to bring at least two outfits because it depends on how the baby's measuring. Your baby can't be really big. So we decided this cute little long sleeve for him. It's also fuzzy. And this is for zero to three months, so. And it comes with its own pants. So this is really cute. So you can wear these. And then I could put him in the puff jacket also. And that's, that's all I have for the inside of the bag. Now for the sides of the bag, I have two pairs of socks depending just this was gonna be for the picture outfit they're all white so it matches and then I have these cute gray ones I mean gray orange and tan and it has that 
design on there. We also brought mittens for him. Cute little mittens. And then a cute little hat beanie, just so he can put it on there and he can put his hood on there too. I just really want him to be just like super warm. I don't want him to be cold or anything. And then in these pockets, I just brought two diapers. And that's pretty much it for his delivery bag. So the reason why I didn't pack so many items is because the hospital does give you a lot of items. So when your baby's in there, this is from what I've seen and read, that they give you diapers, bottles that they use there. So you really don't need to bring too many item, items. And one of the moms did bring like a hospital paper that says what you should bring for yourself, for the baby, and for the father to get. So that's what I went off with. And I'm actually gonna take a hospital tour. So I'm gonna ask more questions when I do, do that. So that's everything for the video. Um, I know it was just mostly clothing, but that's what the baby does need and the hospital will provide everything else. But I do hope you guys liked the video and make sure to like and subscribe and comment if you think I left anything out I should bring, any advice or anything. And yeah, and I'll see you guys next time.